Thank you for joining us once again on our series on how to become a ninja with OneDrive. Today we're going to be focusing on how you can move files around in OneDrive. Maybe you put things in the wrong place and you want to figure out how you can move it where you want it to be. It's very easy to do sometimes, and if you're not familiar with it, it can be kind of confusing. So let's get into it. All right, so like we were talking about, we want to be able to move files around. Perhaps you're coming from using map drives on a server and you're just trying to figure out how you can do the same thing. With the sync client, it's pretty much the same way. You don't really have to think about it very much. But if you're using the web client, it is a bit different and we'll cover both of those so that you're more proficient on how to do it on either one, depending on where you're at. So let's get into my screen that I've shared and we'll cover those. So as you can see here, I've got the sync client in this situation. The sync client's working good. I don't have uh, the red X like we covered in our last video about how to address that and the pitfalls that are involved in it. Um, so with this, we're talking about, let's just move files around. Let's say in this accounting, this demo file, let's just say that we realized it shouldn't be there. So I can just right click and, you know, just like I normally would, um, you know, cut and paste these files out of there and move them to wherever I want. So I'm just going to cut it and let's say I want to put it under um, the, the here and I would just paste it and there it goes and you'll see in the web client in just a second it'll realize what I've done you see right here once it finishes syncing up to the cloud that at that point it'll be done uh, and the information will boom see now it's just done it so if I hit refresh here um, see it's it's gone so, and if I go to my files and I go to the event photos, there's the demo file. All right, so that kind of shows you that they're both in perfect harmony. Um, and moving things around, folders and that type of stuff in the sync client is just like it is, like you're doing with most things. So you can just right click and copy and paste and moving around. There really isn't a whole lot to think about, but there is one thing that I would think about when you're doing it is if this folder that you're fixing to copy has got gigs of data, the sync client can really choke sometimes depending on your upload speeds and how long it's gonna take to send it. So I wouldn't necessarily say, hey, I wanna take the photos that I've had of my whole family vacation since the dawn of time and just drop it in into my OneDrive and just hope to the OneDrive gods it's gonna sync. <clears throat> it probably won't because if you have, you know, 800 gigs of data and your computer goes to sleep, it's going to struggle with doing that. So in that situation, if you have larger files or folders, you want to drop it in there in uh, several folders at a time and just kind of work your way and let it go through it. It just doesn't handle mass changes like that. Um, it just isn't great at doing large scale transfers like that. Okay, so now that we've kind of covered how you can do it on the sync client, let's talk about how you can do it on the web client. And uh, it is different because obviously you're using a web browser. Let's get into it. So now I'm in the marketing event photos uh, folder that we had. And here's this demo file. And we want to move that file. So you can say move to here. And then it's going to give me the location. So I can come up here to this little tree. This can be a little confusing because people are like, what do I do here? Um, so then you would hit move, then you can go to the counting, and then you click move here. So when I do that, um, after a second, see it says moving file. If you can see that, you can kind of see that it's going through the process of the move. Now that it's done, you see it disappear. Um, and now when I click on files and I go back to accounting, um, which is where it put it, it's there. And I had to hit refresh. Sometimes I've seen it where, um, it doesn't always refresh the screen here because it's trying to save bits. <laughs> so if you hit this re refresh on your browser, that should get it where you need to be. And then of course I can just click on it like I would before and I can come in here and open and edit it. Now there's of course in the web browser, like many things in Microsoft, there's lots of different ways to do this. So like I said, I could click here and say move to, but let's say that um, I'm in this Excel document here and I wanted to move it. So let's type some things in here, have a little space. So now just see how it says saved, because like we talked about in the past, OneDrive immediately saves everything you're doing. So you have to be very cautious if you're trying to open files that you don't want to edit and save as. So whatever changes you're doing are happening real time. So keep that in mind. So once I have this file open, I can click on here. 
And then under here, see this arrow? It says move this file to a new folder. So when I click that, guess what? It's gonna give me that same dialog box. Now in this, it's trying to trick me. It's taking me to this, this uh, Axiom demo. I wanna to go to my files because these are the files that I have for me. Um, and in here, I can say, you know what? I'm gonna to go to this events folder and this is where I wanna put it. So we're gonna move it back to where we just moved it from. So I hit that, it's gonna go through its little motion and then you know, eventually it will move the file and it'll be done. Now keep in mind, if the file is larger, you know, mileage may vary. So now I can see that it's it's been moved. If I click on it, see, look at that. It's lying to us where it was at. So it still thinks, it kind of has that located there, but it did save that or move that. So if I close out and I go to the new folder, which was the marketing, there's that file. So now if I go to open it, and I click the dialog box, it's showing where it was at. So just kind of know that when you go to do that move, it'll kind of lie to you. So just as soon as you've moved it, go ahead and save it and then open it in the new location. So the last piece that we want to talk about is moving folders. Now I'm not going to show you how to do that necessarily on the sync client. It's just basically copy and pasting like you would do a file. For the web client, it is a little bit different concept in that you just have to click the three dots and then you can hit move to and then it's the same dialog box and then if you do that just realize you're moving the folder and all the contents underneath it. Now something also that you're going to start to notice as well as you have this copy to option so that could be helpful if you're like hey I want to copy um, you know this folder here to the accounting folder. I want to copy it here so if I click that link you're going to see it go through the copy process. Those files are now being moved over, not really moved, copied. Um, so it's at 50%. So that kind of goes through that. And then it says it's done. So now if I go to the accounting, lo and behold, there's a new folder in there. You can know that it's new because it has those little three, like, I don't know, lines indicating that <clears throat> that's a newer item. And that's what, that's what that little star thing means. And, and now it's gone, I guess, because I was hovering over it. Uh, you know, once it feels like, oh, he's he realizes it's there. Um, and then also one of the things you'll notice too, it has a little person indicating that it's a folder that um, has, um, you know, data in here as well as this folder is shared. So that's indicating that you have that sharing capability. Um, and then if you click on it, it'll show you who has access to it. We hope you enjoyed this video where we talked about how you can move things around, change things, copy. It's really important to know how to do that, I think, on both the web client as well as the desktop sync client. So stay tuned to our next video. We're going to talk about how you can redirect things like your My Documents to your OneDrive. And what's important about that is if your computer were to crash, you wouldn't lose the data that you had in there. And you can also choose other folders that you may want to sync to OneDrive as well, which will cover that. So we'll see you next time. Thank you.